What's going on everybody? Trevels in here. Welcome back to the Bourbon Wrench. Today we're going to be talking about bourbons that fit in every single bourbon collection. Every collector should have these bottles. These bottles are absolute bourbon staples. Now this video is going to serve a couple of purposes. If you are someone who has some grand collection, you've been there, done that, these bottles will be absolutely nothing new to you. In fact, you will probably own all of them. So if you're one of those people, your job for this video is to go to the comment section, leave a comment about what you think of these bottles, which ones you would recommend newcomers to buy to progress their collection. Also, it serves as a video to newcomers if you're new into this. People want to know just straight up, what do I buy? What what should I get? This is what I have. What's next? So, so I've paired up several pairs of bourbons for this video. Let's say the more beginner friendly bottle. There's nothing really beginner about those bottles other than they fit the FAC. It's an acronym I just made up. Findable, affordable, crushable. You got to be able to find it. It's got to be a good price and it's got to be delicious. And then we're going to give you a next step bottle. So just the next step up from that particular bottle. And the good thing about all of these is that I went to the liquor store today, I found them all, I filmed them all, they are there, and both sets of them, the beginner version and the next step up, they're all delicious. Let this be a reminder to everyone, you can go find really good bottles at the store right now that are just always there at our fingertips, okay? The first two bottles, we're gonna be talking about the Knob Creek Nine Year Small Batch and the Knob Creek nine year single barrel. So starting with the Knob Creek nine year small batch. This bottle is perfect proof that you can have a really high age statement and be affordable and be delicious and be on the shelf. Knob Creek has always been the staple of Jim Beam, in my opinion, of their power to just put out age stated stuff all the time. It gives you something age stated in your collection. It gives you something that you can willingly just pour an ice, give to guests, make cocktails with it, pour it neat and it tastes good. It does all of that really well. It's just one of my favorites. It's, it's a classic. It's something that you just be there at all times. And then stepping up. So naturally, if you have the small badge, what's your next step? The Knob Creek Single Barrel. It's 120 proof. This bottle is probably single-handedly responsible for getting me into barrel proof. Now this bottle isn't barrel proof, but it's as close to barrel proof as you can get without technically being. And I'm pretty sure they've done a barrel proof a Knob Creek and it was like 121 proof. So they barely water it down. This really opened my eyes and my mind to wow what else is out there that's full that's what barrel proof tastes like or that's what high proof tastes like it's full of flavor and guess what it's under 60 bucks this bottle's iconic it's just one of those bottles that's like man the value of that bottle it's a high proof full of flavor affordable findable bottle it just wins it fits in every collection Let's face it, Knob Creek are becoming the age dated kings. You know, they got the 9 year, 12 year, 15 year, 18 year. They're killing the age. Let's move on to a dynamic duo. Wild Turkey 101 and Wild Turkey Rare Breed. This pair should probably just exist on every person's shelves. This should just be there, period. The Wild Turkey 101 is, you know, I, I honestly don't see the stigma anymore. It's always used to be like, oh, that was my grandpa's pour or whatever. In the bourbon world, I think it doesn't have that stigma. I think everyone who's in the know knows this is just a, a staple. It's so good for what it is. It's cheap. It's has really good 
aged dated in their blend. It's like six to eight years in the blend. It tastes so much different than a lot of the other crap that's on the bottom shelf. But for those of you who aren't in the whiskey know, if you're not in the community or whatever, you're just a guy going into the store, you don't know what to buy, you're just faced with all these options, they probably still look at this bottle and say, oh, I've heard of that one and I haven't, you know, heard great things or whatever. To those people, I think you should just reconsider your thoughts and give it a try. It's really good. Again, another super versatile bottle does everything. Now the next direct step up is essentially Wild Turkey 101 barrel proof is the Wild Turkey Rare Breed. Except for it isn't just, you know, barrel proof version of 101 to me. I think it has so much flavor going on. It is barrel proof at a relatively low barrel proof proof but that's kind of good it's a that's a good thing because it's super approachable and super drinkable to people who are making that transition up you know you don't want to go from 101 to 130 plus proof you know you'll get there eventually i think everyone naturally becomes proof hounds you know you you inch your way up and it's like wow this one has more flavor than the last one this one has more flavor than the last one and the next thing you know you're drinking hazmat we're all, we've all done it. I think this is a great stepping stone for those people. And it's a great, just everyday, like barrel proof option. And it's a great option for those people who are coming off the mountain. So you've reached the pinnacle, you've gotten over wanting everything to be 130 plus proof. And now you're coming back down and you're rediscovering how absolutely amazing Rare Breed is. It's just for everyone. It's fantastic. And it's a great price. Again, you can find it. It's affordable, crushable. All right, moving on to the next pair is going to go to Elijah Craig Small Batch and Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Also, I just realized this is the toasted barrel. I don't have a small batch. What the heck? Guess what? Bonus round. Do you want a bonus bottle? Here's a bonus bottle, Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. A little bit harder to find around these parts, it comes and goes, but if you can find it, it's a total s'mores in a bottle, campfire bottle. There you go, bonus. Well, guess what? It's just gonna fill in for the shot. Um, but the Elijah Craig Small Batch is a really good option. I would say that one, definitely a bottle that I recommend people who are like, hey, I've, I've had one bottle of bourbon or I've had two or three or whatever. You're, you're pretty new into things. I think that's a great, option to be like, hey, try this. This gives you a little more notes out of a budget type of bottle than you're used to getting. I get a little more oaky, charry, Heaven Hill deliciousness going on with that bottle than a lot of other budget bottles like the cheap Jim Beams and stuff like that. Again, another super versatile bottle. It's 94 proof. I think that's great. I think it's still interesting to people who were, you know, ventured off into the higher proof land, yet it's still approachable for people who were newer into things. It's just the sweet spot of, I'm still full of flavor, but I'm still interesting and lower proof. Then the king of barrel proof, you know what I'm saying? Elijah Craig barrel proof. Now I will say before you, someone might've already went down to the comment section and have commented this. This is probably the hardest one on this list to obtain. But as you can see from the little B-roll, this is on my shelf regularly when they release the batches. Once that batch is sold out, I won't see them until the next batch is released. I know a lot of people are able to get this. I know some of you still can't get them, but comparatively to certain things like Stag, which you'll never see, there's people with connections and they do shady things in alleys and they'll get their stag. You know, you won't have to sell your kidney for one of these yet. Hopefully we never get to that point, but just judging by how much of it they produce, you know, I think it's still a viable option. It's something if you can't get it, you should seek out for because it's really good stuff. 12 year age stated, barrel proof, $70. Come on, 
The another fun thing about this, if you can get them, they drop these batches three times a year. They're three different profiles every time. It's crazy. It's fun to see how they differ and they're really, really good. All right, moving on to the final bottles. We got the Old Forester 86 proof, 100 proof, and Old Forester 1920. Now I threw in the 86 and the 100 because guess what? They're right next to each other on the shelf. They're both readily available and they both offer something a little bit different. Around the same price, they're totally different proofs. The Old Forester 86 proof is probably my favorite sub 90 proof bottle. You know, everyone, again, naturally kind of increases their proof. They like higher and higher proofs. And then the lesser proofs just seem less interesting to them. I will say most bourbons that come out that are under 90 proof typically aren't designed for the bourbon connoisseur in mind. You know, I think the distilleries and stuff, they even know just like, we want some higher proof. That's what people want. That being said, the Old Forester 86 proof is still really good for being as low proof. It's super sweet. It's super banana runt forward. And I think that's what makes it fun and interesting to me. It's just a crushable bottle. That's like daily sipper through and through. You throw it back, you don't think about it, and you just enjoy it. The Old Forester 100 proof is one of my personal favorite daily sippers in the sense of I'm getting more proof, I'm getting more flavor. It's getting out of that fake banana territory. It's becoming a little more chocolate banana territory. Absolutely love it. Pro tip, you throw it in the ice chest, when you go out to the lake, bam, you got like a, a dessert shot. It's delicious. And finally, I saved the bottle for last that might be the biggest fact on the planet. It is the king of findable, affordable and crushable. The Old Forester 1920, you know, it might be a very strong contender for, you know, the vast majority of people's, just one of their favorite all-time classic bourbons. This bottle is dang near everywhere. It's 60 bucks and it is so good. I And again, the proof is right where it should be. It's still so rich has so much depth to it. It's so easy to drink. I think again, this is another great stepping stone for people. And I think it's just a great, I'm kind of coming down from wanting the 130 proof, but I still want something that interests me, that is complex to me, that is more than just whatever. This bottle hits all of those check marks. It would be pretty interesting to see how the majority of people would rank this bottle. If you had to take all of these bottles in this list and rank them, I guarantee you a lot of people will have this one at the top or you know number two or three. It's gonna be very high on a lot of people's list and it's because of how good it is. All right, there we have it. I would say those bottles are absolute staples to your collection. I think as a bourbon drinker, if you are an established bourbon collector, I guarantee you, you've probably owned every single one of those bottles. So if you're newer getting into this, you just want to know what do the, what are these bourbon people, what are they drinking? What are they replacing? These are those bottles. They're absolute staples. Let this guide you in your journey to build a collection. Now I know you're gonna get to this and you're gonna say, where's this bottle, where's that bottle? These are just the bottles that I went to the store today and they were there and I always see them there. There's really, really good bottles that aren't on this list that are also staples, but they might be a little harder to find, a little more pricey or whatever. This is a good start. So we can do more of these and we can cover other bottles that you should get. So if you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Remember to go leave a comment down below. Let people know what you think. So until next time, guys, I'm Trev Wilson. Go build your collection. I will see you in the next video.